Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Rick Nab, live at the National Hurricane Center. Uh, another update here on Tropical Storm Isaac, centered uh, south of Key West, and still a tropical storm, maximum sustained winds of 60 miles per hour. We've had an Air Force reconnaissance plane investigating the system for the past couple of hours. They're going to keep out there uh, for uh, the rest of the afternoon into the evening and give us uh, continued updates on what the central pressure and the winds are doing. But no real significant changes. Isaac has not been strengthening. But it is still a large and sprawling tropical storm with plenty of rain and wind extending well to the north of the circulation center, not just impacting the Florida Keys, but a good portion of the southern, even parts of the central Florida Peninsula. So wherever you get some of these rain bands setting up for a period of time, you get some locally heavy rains and right on the immediate coast of southeastern Florida getting some particularly you know, gusty winds and down in the Keys, of course, really getting some solid tropical storm conditions for quite some time now as a pretty significant band rolled over them uh, earlier around the midday time frame and we're still getting some uh, squalls uh, just north of the center there. Uh, in the lower Florida Keys, but look out here to the east. If you can't see it on the satellite and audio only, uh, we're looking at an area to the east of the center where there's a big gap in the thunderstorm activity, but then farther out there's some bands still coming in from the Bahamas. And as this system pulls out into the Gulf of Mexico, the South Florida and the Florida Keys are still going to be on this onshore flow uh, uh, regime from the south. It'll still be moist and uh, with some squally weather and occasional gusty winds and maybe even some isolated tornadoes, uh, especially to the right of where the circulation center is. That's where we get preferred uh, region for tornadoes.